When building an email campaign, Sugar Market has standardized A-B testing. As we see here, the platform will send both templates to the first 10% of the target list, and then send the remainder to the higher performing template. As a marketer, it's important to know that the hard work you're doing to influence sales is actually working. In this example, we're looking at Sugar Market dashboards. There's a lot of information that can be derived from these dashboards. These are configurable, but this is the example we've got to show today. Of all the emails that have been sent and delivered, uh, links that have been clicked, and emails sent by various different reps. In some cases, we allow reps to send emails on their own. We can look at campaigns performances and also look at opens and clicks over time. Many of these dashboards can be drilled down into to explore the deeper level of data within. As we scroll down the screen, you can see a variety of different areas of landing pages that are being submitted through, uh, other form completions that are happening through the website, and geography of where people are coming from and the types of leads and the types of organizations that are coming through our website. Most of these can be drilled. It will show us the data that's represented by the various drill throughs. The same is true if we're thinking ge geographically, we can go in and drill into an area and see the 1,500 people that happen to be in the hottest region, which is Illinois. Or we can go over to Pennsylvania and see the 313 people that represent that region that's interacting with our website and various marketing elements. As we scroll down, we can even see internationally and other data about who's selling on our team as a result of marketing. So the keys to who is selling as a result of our marketing efforts, who is, has opportunities that are linked to our various different sales stages, then that are linked to our marketing programs. There's quite a lot of data that flows through these dashboards and they're configurable. In this instance, I can click up here in the corner on the sugar market to get back to the core view. We can go look at favorite dashboards, we can build our own. And in this case, we're going to go right back into the one we started with. But there's a variety of ones that also focus specifically in on just performance of individual campaigns or pipelines or RI by lead source. So there's a variety of other places to go. And we can build these dashboards for understanding the performance of marketing. In addition to that, when we think about social media, leveraging our integration with Octopost, we can find a lot more information to further this conversation. In this case, we're looking at interactions and impressions through social media channels, engagements by network, of where is the most productivity coming out of, uh, as far as who's interacting with our messaging, and what type of messaging are the top engagements. Also, by drilling through on things like advocacy, we can figure out who in our channel and who out in the world are influencing and or driving people through retweets and other interactions and sharing our messaging through social media channels. All of this is really important to push back to the sales client because when the sales user is using CRM, they'd like to know what has marketing done for me and who is interacting with our messaging. So by embedding dashboards like marketing actions, we can see of the contacts I'm responsible for, which ones have taken action or interacted with emails, events, landing pages, and other media platforms. Again, this is how we get good marketing activity into the sales funnel by presenting it to the sales user in their interface as well. The next piece beyond that is when we look at what's happening with the artificial intelligence platform as well. So as marketing is influencing data, we can see the prediction scores. So if we drill into an individual who has a positive prediction score, we can see what's been happening and how this person is likely to convert. So by clicking down on more information, we can see some similar companies. And by drilling into the prediction data, it tells us what sort of data is influencing the score that is being levied to us by the prediction engine. Much of this is driven by lead score and lead source, which are influencers of our marketing activity. And lastly, when we are looking at account-based marketing, we can see what organizations have been coming through our website on a regular basis. By drilling down on one of them, we can also look at the details of that organization. We can see their individual activity and which person has been coming through our website or even anonymous activity that's been coming through of folks that we've not yet identified with our marketing platform. Going back to the main dashboard, we can also look at campaigns that are in flight 
and see what's been going on with those various different campaigns. And by drilling down into the campaign itself, we can see additional statistics just at that individual campaign level. So there's quite a lot of reporting already built into the system that's proliferating all the different data around what's performing, what channels are interacting with our customers from social media to the marketing channel, and we can figure out what information is working best for us.